Hi guys and welcome back to my channel Sonic Love. So in today's video we're going to do some testing on the Pi 400. It's been a heavily requested video to do so without further ado let's get into some emulation testing on the Pi 400. <laughs> Okay guys, so as you know, I love the Raspberry Pi. I've done multiple builds. I did a modded one-up video turning it into a Pi 4 Beast. I've also been working on an SNES mini version. And as you know, I'm already building a high-end PC into a arcade. So I've got loads of little projects going on. So if you like those type of things, guys, please make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you will keep up to date with all recent retro gaming and also projects that I work on also. So in this video today, we're gonna to be testing out some emulation performance on the Pi 400, as you know, it has got a base clock of 1.8 gigahertz. So obviously straight away, it is overclocked. There is a new version of Batacera, which is Batacera 32. So this is what I want to test with you guys today. Also for my SNES build, this is the arcade stick that I bought to go inside to make sure that it, I have a arcade experience, but with all the functionality of a controller. Now this is a no brand make from Amazon. It costs about 34 pound. If you want me to put a link in the description guys, so you can get one yourself, you're more than welcome to, but it works on Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, PC. It works on everything, it's multifunctional. So it really is kind of nice. So without further ado, let's get straight into some games and let's have the games do the talking.
So I'm going to leave it there for now, guys. The Pi 400 is absolutely incredible if you want to be able to turn it into a native Android device you can you can even install windows and the the multitude of tasks and things that you can do on this is really really improving day by day emulation is fantastic on here now just let me quickly show you in Botticera they now have a new mode which is insane mode which is really really cool so let's back out of here Let's press start. Let's go to system settings. Once we go into system settings, you'll see where it says hardware. You'll have audio out, you'll have video out, and you'll also have overclock. Now it states as insane, heat sink and fan required, but it overclocked to 2 point one gigahertz which is absolutely incredible now this is also available on the original pi 4 so the insane mode included with batisera i think is really cool no more messing around and doing under voltage and over voltage even though i did um do that with the pi 400 and i've clocked it to 2.2 gigahertz but still if you don't fancy messing around and the the overclock option is there in batisera now this is part of my new project so i hope you guys are looking forward to it it's an snes style mini arcade machine really looking forward to showing you guys really looking forward to showing you just how easy and simple that it actually is and it also turns into a great little desktop mini arcade with an eight inch screen oh yeah i love it i i definitely gonna do a few more different types maybe mortal kombat yeah, let me know in the comments, guys, of what type of arcade skins that you want to see on a few other projects that I do. And as always, guys, please hit the bell notification. Keep up to date with all the latest and greatest retro handhelds and also mini projects that I do. Love you all to death. Please hit the like button to make sure that the channel gets seen. And as always, guys, take care.